Hello, everyone. I'm Marilyn. Today,、uh, let's talk about the time of Jesus' second coming. Jesus sacrificed himself for humans after the Last Supper, using his flesh and blood to wash away our sins. This is what the four gospel books record. Before his death, his follower asked when he would return, and as it was in the days of Noah, likewise also as it was in the days of Lot. Thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. Noah's date, February seventeenth, was when he stepped in ark at six hundred years of age. That day was the date of salvation. So, when is the date of Lot? And they took all the goods of Sodom and Gomorrah and all their victuals, and went their way. And they took Lot, Abraham's brother's son, who dwelt in Sodom, and his goods, and departed. His uncle Abraham heard, and when Abraham heard that his brother was taken captive, he armed his trained servants. Born in his own house, three hundred and eighteen, and pursued them unto Dan, and he brought back all the goods, and also brought again his brother Lot, and his goods, and the woman also, and the people. We have the number three one eight. It is the only time that in Bible that the numbers of homegrown servants were mentioned. The mentioning of birth at home implies birthday. The 318th servants could not be born on the same day. There must be an order, so it means the birthday order is a three. One eight. Thus, the three hundred eighteenth day. How do the two days combine? February seventeen is the three hundred eighteenth day, counting backwards, and November fourteen is the. Three hundred eighteenth day, counting forward. Because he could not say the date, so he said his returning date is the date of Noah and Lot. Most of the people try to find out what happened during the two days. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage. Until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and the flood came, and destroyed them all. Likewise, also as it was in the day of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained. Fire and brimstone from heaven, and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. In fact, Jesus has confirmed the date of the returning. He has told you the answer is in the two days. The track of rotating. Around the sun is a circle. Should it be forward or backward? We have two days: the date of stepping in ark, the day of stepping out, 
So we have a February 17 and as well as November 14. With both solar and lunar calendar, either 365 days a year or 360 days a year. Both calendar is symmetric. For example, February 17 is the 47th day counting from the beginning and 318th counting from the end. November 14 is the 47th day counting from the end of a year and the 318th counting from the beginning. With two different directions, we get a shape of folding fan. A floating fan is also interpreted as a compass. A compass is a tool to draw a circle. It mirrors angle, sky, and the solar system. Days are calculated based on the Earth's rotations. Just like the way Jesus divides the bread, dividing with angles. 365 days a year, in fact, is the 360 degree in a perfect circle. So, with the both solar or lunar calendars, February 17 is a facing November 14. God says that the beginning is the end and the end is the beginning. He means the two facing points on a circle. Where it ends is where it begins. The 318th day is November 14. If you count backwards 318th day, you get February 17. So the counterpoint of February 17 is November 14. That day of his returning is on the date of Noah and Lot. Now we have Noah's days at the first ever date on record, February 17 and the number 318 from Law's story. We can use these two pieces of information to find the date of his return. Solar calendar is universal and will not change over thousands of years. But the lunar calendar is different. We can read more into the number 318. It can be March 18th, counting from the beginning of year, 365 days. March 18 is the 77th day. And if we count back from the end, the 77th day is October 16. Also, February 17 is the 48th day from the beginning of a year. And we count back 48 days. We get the date of November 14. Now, we have two days, October 16 and November 14. If we consider October 16 is from the lunar calendar, and November 14 is from the solar calendar. The only matching date is November 14, 1970. The preceding date is too remote. So now we have the birthday of the returning Jesus, November 14, 1970. 70. Thank you for listening. We will post more video in the future.